We begin with water issues in Lexington County tonight. Street Squad has been working to provide you answers on the water issue for over a week now. We'll start with the source of the problem and what's being done to fix it. According to Columbia Water, an algae bloom in Lake Murray is the culprit. The bloom tends to happen when it's warmer outside around this time of year. This algae produces compounds that are naturally occurring, making it safe to consume, but still gives it a bad smell and taste. Water companies started seeing this spike in algae in mid-August, but some residents say it's gone on longer. Both Columbia Water and West Columbia Water officials have said when cooler weather patterns come through, along with the rain, that should clear the issue up. Officials with the West Columbia Water Plant say this algae bloom does happen every year, but they are usually able to detect it and correct it before anyone notices. Both Columbia Water and West Columbia Water have been approved by DHEC to start taking additional measures to correct this issue. We've requested all tests from Columbia Water, West Columbia Water and DHEC that have been conducted on the water in question and we are still awaiting a response. So News 19's Emily Correll continues to deep dive into the issue by talking to experts in the field of drinking water. Water complaints come through our inbox daily. People who live in Columbia, in West Columbia, in Lexington, who get their water from Lake Murray want to know why does it smell bad and why does it taste like dirt? Well, Street Squad has been working on this for a few weeks now, and today we took these questions to an expert in the field of drinking water. Dr. Susan Richardson has studied drinking water for decades and even worked at the Environmental Protection Agency before becoming a professor with the Department of Chemistry at the University of South Carolina. So geosmin and methyl isoborneol are two metabolites of cyanobacteria, which is just blue-green algae, and also some other bacteria can give off those two compounds as metabolites. And they are common, very common taste and odor compounds. Lots of drinking water plants around the country struggle with these. And what happens in the summer, you just have more algae growing in the reservoirs. We have very low taste and odor thresholds, meaning we can detect tiny, tiny levels of these chemicals in our water. And I should say, they're totally safe. They just make the water taste bad. And this is the most reason for complaints of drinking water. We asked Dr. Richardson as an expert in this field of study, what would she have to say to those concerned about their health when it comes to this water? As a scientist it, and as working on drinking water for probably 30 years of my career now, this happens all the time. Totally safe not to worry about those two chemicals in your water. Taste horrible, I understand that, earthy, musty taste but it's nothing to be worried about for toxicity. Those two chemicals are not going to hurt you at all. And if you just hate the taste and your plant is doing a terrible job in removing them, you can always get a Brita filter and try to remove them with you know, granular activated carbon with your own filters. Head to our website for everything you need to know about the drinking water issues. For Street Squad, I'm Emily Carell.